What's happening, weirdos? This is it. This is uh, video episode number two. We're so excited to be joining you, obviously, uh, audio. For those of you listening the original way, I'll call it the original way. But for those of you joining us on YouTube, this is only our second video episode, and I'm so excited that it's this one. It's John Hamm. You know John Hamm from Top Gun Maverick. Jeez Louise, Katie, John Hamm was right next to us. And uh, we also have Chris Red from SNL and Matteo Lane, who is incredible and has his own standalone episode coming up very, very soon. Little did I know, but Chris and Matteo are very dear friends. So do not make the mistake of, uh, of uh, flipping off, flipping off, jumping off, turning it off after Ham because it goes nuts. When the two of them are on stage together, it's one of the funniest things that's ever happened. I loved this episode. And of course, Sweet Lady Val is here co-hosting. So I am super, 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 super excited for this one. I'm so glad you guys are here. Only a couple things to plug up top. June 11th is my only stand-up date right now. Go to largo-la.com if you'd like to come to Pete Holmes Living at Largo. It's always amazing. The last couple, we had Dimitri Martin, Rory Scovel, uh, Amy Schumer, Mulaney. But regardless of who's there, it's always, always, always me. And it's always, always, always incredible. And Val is there too. And it's always so fun. And if you like this show, why not try a Pete's Pick? Because it's video. Look, I have them. I have them for the camera. This is ritual symbiotic. <laughs> I didn't want to say it wrong. Ritual symbiotic plus. This is my probiotic that I take every morning. I'm super, super, super into gut health. Your stomach is basically like a second brain and it needs stuff that it's not getting in the food the way food is made these days. So you need to supplement. I also take rituals multivitamin, which I swear whereby I went to my doctor recently and they were like, your vitamins are off the charts. That is not easy for me to do as a mostly vegan. So I love their multivitamin and I love Symbiotic Plus. It is a three in one with clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics, and a postbiotic to support a balanced gut microbiome. It's single nested in a minty capsule. That means it's a pleasure to take and has a minty flavor uh, for simple streamlined gut support. It is designed to thrive with a delayed release capsule designed to help reach the colon. That means it's not breaking down in the stomach. It waits until it gets into your colon, which is the ideal place for prebiotics and probiotics to survive and grow. And no refrigeration are needed. In fact, a lot of the ones you see in the, gro in the grocery store, the reason they're refrigerated is because they're so fragile. They're probably not going to make it home. These are designed with moisture controlled bottle technology to protect the probiotic strains and handle life in your cupboard with absolutely no problem. Symbiotic and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. There's no shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering weirdos 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash weird to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today like I did. Val steals mine. We've just added two bottles to my monthly supply because she loves it so much too. Show you support the show. Go to ritual.com slash weird. And let's talk about clothes. But let's talk about clothes in a different way. Let's talk about the plastic problem. Plastic is a huge global crisis on this planet we call Earth. If it's not piling up in a landfill, it's incinerated and driving up greenhouse gases or broken down into microplastics that end up in the oceans, end up in our drinking water and our food chains. So you probably know that and you're probably careful about your plastic consumption, but you're probably overlooking the plastics from synthetic materials that are hiding in our closets, that are in our clothes. Not this clothes, not these clothes. This is made by Everly. Baby! Everlane is here to help this issue and make fantastic clothes. This is, this is my Everlane sweater. It is my favorite sweater. It is the sweater that Val requests the most, the most when we go on dates. Everlane has made it 90% of the way to having no new plastics in their entire apparel, footwear, and packaging supply chain. 90% the way there. 
No plastics. That's incredible. To combat the last 10% that currently doesn't have quality alternatives, they've created the Nest Collective, a fellowship program to boost innovation for ending new plastics in the fashion industry. I love Everlane's commitment to ethical factories. It's clothing that you can feel good about buying and a company you can feel good about supporting. And their new, their no new plastic efforts so far has been incredible. 100% of their shipping packaging is made from either 100% recycled plastic or FSC certified paper. 95% of the apparel materials containing polyester and nylon are made from certified recycled fibers. And more than 1 million pounds of nylon and 9 million plastic bottles have been recycled by this wonderful company. They also just happen to make some of the best looking, best fitting, best feeling clothing that I've ever owned in my life. But I absolutely love how transparent and upfront they are and how ethical they are as a company. So be a part of the movement for more sustainable clothing and frankly, look pretty friggin' great while you do it. <laughs> Go to everlane.com slash weird and sign up for 10% off your first order. That's 10% off your first order when you go to everlane.com slash weird and sign up. All right, that's it. I pause there big time. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited for you to see this live episode. Thank you to all the weirdos who came out in person. And I really, really enjoy that you guys are here. What am I, not an English-speaking person? I really, really enjoy that you guys are the ones that are here. Enjoy John Hamm. Enjoy Chris Red, Mateo Lane, Sweet Lady Val. Get into it. Don't know. Blossom. Stop no one guessed the theme from Blossom. <laughs> but there it is. Can you do your, do your best Blossom dance right now? I don't have a baggy face. enough sweater. Yeah, we can't do it. That was, we clearly couldn't. Do Jombi from P? Joey. Oh, oh, Valerie? Whoa. There it is. All right. This is not cool. We did not enter cool. This was not. What isn't cool? Like, I feel like we were just like very awkward with our bodies. And then I did like no, a very wacky impression. <laughs> It's not you made it composed, baby doll. Oh, that's true. It's not you. You made, made it weird. That's right. Are we were expecting an applause there? Or? Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> if I wanted that, I'd go. Let's have a Joe Rogan experience, and then we just no eat no. venison <laughs> shot with a bow. <laughs> who who brought the bow venison jerky? Nobody. <laughs> Good to be here. Hello. Uh, where they shot the mask? Question mark. <laughs> I think this is where Cameron Diaz sang, and he was like, somebody stop me. Yeah. I got greedy. I went for two mask laughs. Mm-hmm. You're lucky. And you guys were generous to give me one. Uh-huh. Wow. Thanks for keeping us honest. Good for you, masks. We just had it. Everyone else, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was a real frequency you guys all just emitted. We were like, don't make us think about it. Play the Blossom theme again, please. We need a palate cleanser. <laughs> Just kidding. Who knows the first line of the Blossom theme? Joke's on you. It's for 100K. Oh. So you're going to drive home and be like, don't know about the future? That's anybody's guess? I think o Jesus. the only thing people know from the Blossom theme is the word opinionation. That's correct. Yeah. Can we all say happy uh, Valentine's Day to Valerie? Just kidding. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to Valerie, That's ridiculous. everybody. ridiculous. No. Oh, and to all the all you. the moms here. Thank you. I mean, is there anything more loaded or nuanced than mothers? Like, it feels like a... Oh, yeah. It's like a tone-deaf kind of thing. We're like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, everybody I... has a complicated relationship with their mother or a complicated relationship with being a mother yes. or... With like, ha like not being a mother, it's too it's too complicated. Why are we completely agree? This? Completely I agree. I feel like it's just. I mean, obviously, it's like the gr a greeting card thing, right? They yes. They were like, you can buy this card and give it to your mother, being like, I wish I meant this. Aww. <laughs> too sad. That was a great riff. <laughs> too sad. I wish I meant this. Yeah. Really hard to hear. I'm sorry. I brought it down. For a After lot you guys of said us. happy Mother's Day to me too, and I just took it dark right Don't away. know about the future. 
That's in about his gears. Is this voice okay? Okay, how's everybody doing? I'm not getting canceled for doing a great impression of the Blossom theme song. Oh, my God. It didn't hurt. It's a YouTube clip. <laughs> I really hope somebody was filming that of and can make it a Of course they were. There's gift. cameras in the back. Ah, oh, excellent. We'll make it into a GIF. I'm not getting canceled. Yeah. And then... <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will uh, sell it as an NFT. Still Google. don't know what an NFT is. Anybody? He already bought it. It's, it's like diving. To like, so everybody thinks they could be the one to teach me how to dive, and I've never been able to learn. What and do you mean that's, dive? That's oh, dive how, off a board. Yeah, and everybody thinks that they can be the one to teach me an NFT, and I can't well, retain it. I just... I guess I just don't care. <laughs> no, you shouldn't care. I wouldn't be interested in you as a partner if you yeah, cared. Yeah. It's like I really do classify like NFT, uh, Bitcoin, still are those the same? Who knows? Uh, all with like Wim Hof and cold plunging. Like this is the same type okay. of person. Shots fired. Is into those things. And I'm married to him and we just don't talk about those things. I don't know how I feel about this on Mother's Day. <laughs> It's not your day. It's my no. day to say what I really feel. And that's right. It's your day. <laughs> NFTs are for those of us who are tired of tokens getting funged all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got to go early. We're going to bring him right out. Are you ready for motherfucking John Ham? John Ham! <laughs> you made it weird. <laughs> Oh, you God, made it there's weird. No, there's no music. You there's made no it no weird. Ham. John yeah. Ham. You yeah. made it weird. You Don't made it weird. Away. Don't scare me. You made away. it weird. John <laughs> Ham. You made it weird. You made it weird. You made it weird. John, John Ham. Oh, there you, know, you fuckers I would are. Like you to, I would like you to look at this chair. Oh, I looked at it. Okay. It's. It's sconced in jizz. Yeah, we like did. it's not a bit. No, it it really. It, there's jizz. That that is so jizz. either like a, a bird came in here, and came all over the chair. That's as likely as an owl killing Kathleen Peterson. Have a seat. I was just gonna make. Oh. That joke. You knew I was gonna I say was gonna, that. I was gonna say that joke. Also, did you like have the experience I had, which is I didn't even know there were people up in the balcony until John Ham walked out, and then a whole crew. Yeah, those so are the Ham fans. <laughs> they got Ham price tickets. That's half price. Just bring any slice of ham <laughs> to any show that I'm appearing on. You get him free. Ham makes everything better. Ham is delicious and it makes everything better, and you're welcome. Yeah. yeah that's right. J John, John Ham. Port. Port? Port Pit. Port? Pete Jam. <laughs> port? Sorry, Pete. <laughs> is it Pete? <laughs> it's not Port, and I think you knew that. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm s I want to say up top, I'm sorry for asking you to sit in jizz. Um, I'm also seated in jizz. Well, good. I mean, if we're all doing it. Yeah. And by the way, don't look at your seats. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is like a reverse. It's the top of the seat, horrible <laughs> Oprah. Everybody got jizz tonight. Yeah, exactly. And you get to sit you in get jizz. jizz. You get to sit in jizz. Oh, oh no. Dirty oh, Oprah. Dirty Oprah. <laughs> here's, my, here's my first question what for you. What if that was her first, like, take on being Oprah? <laughs> Her first just, what? Just like like a weird like Colin's sleazy friends show. Like it was Dirty Oprah, and it didn't really hit. And people were like, "I get what you're going for, but this is probably not what you should be doing." <laughs> Let's flip the whole script and be like super pleasant. <laughs> All right, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. People forget that Oprah started as like Dirty a Oprah? shock jock. <laughs> Like, you want to meet Dr. Phil? You want to see his balls? Like, whoa. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Oprah. That's Oprah. too much. He's, no, he's teach a, us to meditate. He's a clinical <laughs> Have medical you done man. Oprah? Have I been on Oprah? I have. I didn't ask you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? Have um, I met Oprah? No, no, no. I'm asking, uh, take it as you will. Have you done Oprah? <laughs> have you been on Oprah? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's not getting any less dirty. Let me, hold on. Have you been on top of Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> that's... I figured that's exactly yeah. what you meant. And no, I have not yet. I haven't had the pleasure. Not no, yet. yes. That's Stedman, man. That's a, you know, that's a no ham zone. <laughs> it is a no ham. Or real. Maybe, Gail. Listen. 
Oh, oh dear. That's that's a good question. Do you like being John Hamm? Is it fun? I think a lot of people would be like, I'd love to be John Hamm. Or is are there times when you're like, fuck, I wish I could hang up my head somewhere and just be uh, one of these guys. Hang your head up. <laughs> just anyone. Like, like, like I pick one of you just like for being not piece John piece Hamm. This like this piece of shit. <laughs> Look at this piece of shit. Ain't no one clamoring. <laughs> no selfies. I'm sorry, what's your name? Jason, you're the king. Jason, Jason. or Mason? Which one was it? Because or is it Port? Jason. Jason. It's Jason. He pulled down the mask. He wanted yeah, that it was full like ham. Absolutely, Jason. Yeah, it was not. He wanted unprotected ham on ah. ham gaze. <laughs> um, but for real, do you ever go like shit? It would be more convenient to not be John Hamm no, right now? No, it's, it is, you know, not for nothing. It was like work, I work very hard to get where I am in my career and life and everything. I feel very lucky, certainly, yeah. that, that I, I found success much later than most. Yeah. Uh, and I also am very lucky. Some would say I, you haven't found it yet. But well, yeah, some would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad about the port thing, but keep going. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Here, here's another one. Here, have some heavy on. When you walk into a party, everyone knows... Uh, they like probably people want a piece of that sweet sweet ham, right? I, yeah, I, maybe I'm not sure. You know, I haven't really had that that experience so much. I mostly go to you know parties with people I know. So it's like, I, yeah, you know, I don't really go to like. Uh, uh, that's not a party. That's a soirée for sure. <laughs> I'm talking about like you walk into Ye Rustic Inn, <laughs> which you can do now again. Which you can do. I think they were open the I whole time. I think for sure they were like I don't know. Just go on the side door. The like, doesn't know. It hits the front and it bounces off. The go on the side, you'll be fine. There's much worse in that bar than COVID. <laughs> like that these, bar. these chairs are clean compared to what's on, on you, offer. You can get COVID-20 at Ye Rustic Inn right now. <laughs> you can get I know COVID, a guy. You can get COVID like 15. <laughs> Retro. They have like vintage. It. Yeah. Oh, my God. Your COVID uh, sommelier comes up. Yes. It's like, uh, well, tell me what you want. I'll breathe it right on you. Yeah. I'm feeling nostalgic. Could I have COVID-21? You know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it to you. I... I I miss COVID-15, I'll say it. Like, <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> Trump wasn't president yet. There yeah. was like a yeah. whole difference. It's, you know, it felt like a more, more, more fun way to, you know, yeah. Yeah. lose right. your breath. I judge history. <laughs> lose your breath. It was cute. It was cute. <laughs> oh, lose your breath. <laughs> uh, from memory, how much of John's ham, John ham, can you remember? Very little. Uh, I remember, I remember doing that sketch and thinking like, well, this is never going to make it on the air, <laughs> but somebody in the prop department built a toilet paper roll out of ham that has a piece of ham that rolls off of it. So I was like, well, maybe I can keep it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you keep it? I did not. Uh, no, it certainly wouldn't keep. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep it. <laughs> you can keep it. maintain it yeah, in your you possession. You can have it. You can have it, but you cannot Literally keep it. Literally, by the end of the after party, it's probably, you probably don't want it. You know, it gets that weird green shimmery, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, everybody okay. knows. No, no disrespect to your namesake, but ham is one of the wetter, slimy it is a wet. It's a wet meat. Yeah. Like, would you rather be John Turkey? That's a fair uh, question. Maybe a salami, like a cured uh, <laughs> yeah, taco, try taco me. Go salami. Yeah, a prosciutto, maybe. Ooh, Ooh. that just means ham. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, John the Prosciutto. Hey, I gotta translate this whole thing. <laughs> when you walk around the streets of Rome, as I'm assuming you do, this is what I do all the time. And people scream, "Hey, Johnny Prosciutto!" Exactly what happens. You ever fuck Oprah? Like that sort of thing. <laughs> now, but like Dirty Oprah. Hey! And then they get on they the bus, but off they go. They know the bit. They've listened to this podcast. They're when she was dirty at the beginning, Dr. Phil's ball. Like Colin Sleazy Friends, the cable access no one remembers. <laughs> Is this voice okay? <laughs> I don't know. Not much longer. We're Come not somebody up sure. To hit us. Mm -hmm. Latecomer, joke's on you, Ham was first. <laughs> oh, don't um, worry, you're so cute. No, no, welcome. Welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome. welcome, welcome. <laughs> So, Please John Sam, the John's on your chair. It's, uh, we didn't do it. They were there. Yeah. We were just. <laughs> the whole jizz thing. It's fine. You're yeah, not, you missed our jizz thing. bit. Yeah, you missed the jizz bit. Which we'll probably bring back. I oh, think that'll coming, come back. Okay. That'll knowing we'll woven see. We'll see. Throughout. Knowing jizz, it always, it's like an appetite. It comes back. <laughs> you never, you never. It doesn't stay it. hidden for long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's so great to be here at the end of both of our careers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bye. 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 I don't know about the future. It's anybody's guess. Joey Lawrence comes off and says, whoa, you can't Whoa, you can't <laughs>
Italian. You can't even do me. <laughs> That's where this is headed, guys. We won't even be able to do Joey, Joey Lawrence. Lawrence. I can't even go to Sarah Lawrence or Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Who would you be starstruck to see? Because Joey Lawrence, that's up there for me. Yeah. With well, we, the hair. We're currently <laughs> Like watching Joey Lawrence that. in the 80s. Yeah, 80s yes. Lawrence. Yes, 80s. So it's time travel. Um, and I mean, I, I don't know. Like, there, there's a couple, like, 80s... Uh, you know, and we remember. No one's gonna remember. Boy, this is so dated. People so. will clap. No, but they will clap. You will clap. <laughs> you will clap. They're you really get clapping. a clap. There was a show that I'm pretty sure was a spinoff of Different Strokes, which you also can't say anymore. Um, but <laughs> called Hello Larry. Because yeah, it's spelled so that you have to say it in a way that's exactly. like you can't. Yeah, nope. You just nope. look at it and you're like, oh, yeah, uh, that's not for me to it. say. It's different. Stroke. I love the TV show Different Strokes. I enjoyed it very much. Listen to how they're what? nervous for their careers. When the, they don't want to be on the record for laughing yeah. at a pretty when mild the young Different one says, Strokes riff. When the, younger, when the younger character says, what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. What is he talking about? <laughs> what, what did the gooch really do? <laughs> deep cut. Deep cut. But anyway, so a spin-off spin -off called of Hello different. Larry. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. The Clay oh, yeah. Stevenson. Okay. Rest in peace. Uh, he had two daughters. I forget what his job was. It was it was kind of like the, the the other one, which was uh, Ted Knight, which where he played a cartoonist, which was too close for comfort, maybe. Ah. Yes. Okay. okay Those cool. people are who you want to co-sign on a loan for your house. <laughs> yeah. Like anyone they listening, are old they enough the to have they're old enough. They've savings. made it. <laughs> if they're still coming to shows and rocking <laughs> and getting these references, they have a lot of money. But there was, <laughs> <laughs> they're doing just fine. <laughs> they didn't Uber here. But there was like a girl that my like twelve-year-old self had a massive crush on that became like a real housewife. So oh really? Like, oh. I, I don't know if I ever met her, but that would have been like a real like whoa like. You mean the TV show, or she's just a housewife for real? She really became a housewife, and then and then got on the show <laughs> of her experience as. I mean, they are real. A very real housewife. I mean, famously, on, it's right yeah. in the title. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's it's fair. Not like, it's not called the former actresses. Of, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, we are triple canceled for this, and I'm loving it. Um, I feel like we're Roman warriors in the movie 300, and I'm like, I'm glad to go down by your side. That's that's very kind of you. Yeah. Uh, we're both wearing all of the clothes. <laughs> oh, God. Here's a question. Shoot. You're, I mean this. You're very, you're like, you're kind of like a masculine uh, symbol. Like, people are like, ah, oh, John Hamm. Okay, okay, There's okay. a man. So I'd, like, I'd love to know, do you, do you dance? Like, will you dance? I'll dance, for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, of course. But have you noticed, like, macho guys in movies never dance. Uh, Don Draper didn't dance. Do you dance? Don Draper did dance. How dare you? When did um, he dance? He danced. I think Roger I'm the only... Sterling's daughter's funeral. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wedding, wedding, wedding. <laughs> <laughs> At Sally Draper's on... funeral? Yeah. Right on the grave. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, follow-up question about your daughter. Your daughter's initials are SBD. Was it hard to say that without laughing? S S SBD. SPD. SBD. S -B -D. Sally Beth S -B -D. Draper. Excuse Silent. me. But deadly. 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 Oh. Yes, I, we all clocked that very early. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty great. <laughs> but you'll dance. For sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course. Like, it's, it's, it's fun, I think. I don't know. You, yeah, it's like, uh, what's the old thing? Dance like no one's watching, but also prove it. Prove yeah. it. Prove it. Yeah. There's yeah, one guy the that's like, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it for me, ham. <laughs> <laughs> well, Val and I were talking. Now my chair's covered in jizz. <laughs> we need a fresh coat. <laughs> oh, no. Told you it was coming back. Told you. Jizz always comes back. Uh, jizz on the rocks. Well, we watched uh, Jack Reacher, and we were like, why do tough guys never do? I know. Yeah. Look, Mad Men's been off for six years. I, we no, have to I'm do something. You have to only watch things I'm in, but <laughs> coming off of jizz and then using the first two syllables, Reacher. <laughs> And Jack. And Jack. And Jack. A Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. Uh, were you like near it? Were you like like around it? Were you Jack Reacher around? <laughs> Jack Reach. Did you Jack Reacher around Jack Reacher around the house? I don't know. That's like when you watch it on your laptop and you just go yeah. Around. When you when you watch it, I was watching Jack Reacher laptop. in the shower. Jack Reacher around. Reach around. I was watching Jack Reacher around. I'm Jack Reacher work. around the house. That's what I now get it. Do. Okay. It's fine. But we were like, why don't tough guys dance? And Val was like, I think it's because men want to, like, 
to be masculine, we affect reality. And being vulnerable to music, you have to like let it let move it, you, it, yeah. let it run the show. I think, yeah. you know, I think Travolta changed the game not only in uh, Saturday Night Fever but also in uh, Pulp Fiction. That's yeah. true. Yeah, and that was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. He was a tough guy. He was like doing the thing, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Vincent he brought Vega. Brought back uh, the twist. I mean, that was that was one we thought was like never coming back. But, but like, yeah. you know, Brad Pitt's not dancing in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, right? You know what I mean? Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> let's get him. Let's but bring him out, Brad. Come on, Alex. Brad, <laughs> come on, Alex. Hey, prove it. <laughs> we hear another level of a balcony applause. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. They added a level? We didn't know there was a second balcony until Brad Pitt came out. That's not a cool name, Brad Pitt. Well, I'm going to be a movie star. My name's Brad Pitt. It's like, all right, Pitt. Dude, you're talking to a person named John Hamm. <laughs> I'll take Pitt any day. <laughs> oh, my God, Ham Pitt. Have you met Brad Pitt? <laughs> <laughs> have you uh, met Brad Pitt? Yes, I have. Yes, that that is a person that is. Uh, I don't care who you are. You are sort of struck in a starstrucky way. You're yeah. just like, oh yeah. Lord, this is happening. And yeah, he's yeah. from my home state of Missouri. He's from a different part of it. Hey, right on yeah. uh, the Show Me State. So uh, yeah, I don't know what that means anymore. <laughs> show me you dance. Show me you can dance. Uh, <laughs> That was, that was Harry S. Truman's famous thing. Like, get in here, and the book stops here, and show me you can dance. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, so you think you can dance? Well, show me. <laughs> that was the full title of that. That show. was yeah. That was, so you think you I can was, dance? I was how we got World War II, you... and you are welcome. Um, but no, he's he's from a very small town. My my family's from a very small town, uh, although I grew up in St. Louis. But yeah, we we've met on several occasions. It is a it is a full on movie star experience. Yeah. Were they all in, like, party Hollywood atmospheres? No, we were in, like, sort of more of a low-key uh, situation. You're always brought to, like, a basement restaurant? I mean... Candles? I have had that experience, but not with, with Brad Pitt, but John Travolta on several occasions. But uh, it was like, Mr. Travolta would like to talk to you. Wait, you were brought into a candle basement? And you basement? were down, and he's sat at a table. It looks like the Last Supper. There's, like, 15 people. And he's like, hey, John, I heard you were here. It's at the Super Bowl or something. You're like, what is going on? This is crazy. I bring all my friends and we fly. I fly them up and we go to the Super Bowl every year. Isn't that fun? You're like, it's fun. It's great. I don't, I don't know how to get out of this conversation at all, <laughs> except say thank you and you look great. And I'm going to yeah, have a good time. Go, team. Then it's, in the, it's in the Super Bowl. He, he flies his friends to yeah, see the like Super a huge, Bowl? Like he's a pilot. He's a, he's a, he has a 737 oh, nice. or something, so he like packs oh, it up. Really? And, yeah. He's a very how do you fan. talk to somebody that also flies planes? I've... That's a you know what I mean? I can't be as exciting as a plane. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, karaoke. Will you sing karaoke? Sure. What's your song? I usually pick a Prince song because it's unexpected. Yeah. And I know a lot of the words already. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be reading, breaking out the glasses. Yeah, and because I, yeah, I can't really see anymore. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's a BTF, uh, uh, yeah, a dynamite. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> little red. Oh, little bro, red. Oh, it's, the, it's a Caprice Classic now? Well, that's a more sensible car. He should have been driving <laughs> that the entire time. I could have put people in the back seat. Prince, used to, he filmed some of Purple Rain here. Yeah. At this, uh, right here. Video? I think we're sitting in his jizz right now. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, we're sitting in yeah. oh, They did do a song called The Bird, so we know he left his mark. <laughs> Thank you. Deep Actually, I like that. We have an, a, a, a mutual acquaintance who told me that, did you go to one of his last concerts? I went ever? to his last concert. You went to his last Prince's concert? last concert. Prince's last show in Atlanta, Georgia wow. at the Fox Theater, a very famous old uh, venue. Um, and it was amazing. It was a, it was a show, the tour was called Piano and a Microphone. And it was a piano and a microphone. He played like 40 songs kind of back to back oh, wow. on the piano. Whoa. And it was like amazing. It was, and it was in Atlanta. The place was packed and heaving and people brought their own tambourines. It was like, it was a church. It was like going to church. It was amazing. Oh. Uh, Did he ever he, stop and go, it's piano and microphone. Put that fucking tambourine away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall seeing on the sign piano microphone and some bitches brought tambourines. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have done if I was. That's, that is not what he did. But <laughs> he would he would do a thing. You realize his catalog is hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds of songs for yeah. decades. Yeah. And uh, he would start something that the whole crowd would immediately, from the first like name that tune chord, recognize, and then 
stop and kind of look and with a deep voice just go, no, y'all ready? Y'all aren't ready for that yet? <gasps> oh, my. And then he would do like a deep cut from the Black Album. Wow. And like, it was just like, oh, my God. Like, oh. this is amazing. Yeah, it's getting humid in here and you're just <laughs> telling the story. Yeah. What a talent. <laughs> That's because of, never mind. There's, there's some other um, fluids on this chair. <laughs> Here we go. There's she... a viable embryo on this chair now because of that story. Well, that's going to be that's going to present a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Were you full ham at that point? Did you get Yeah, to... that was in that was in I was on <laughs> You know it's what I meant. I knew it. Just answered. Were you like, full ham? Oh yeah, I was full ham. Yeah. Full ham. Oh yeah, yeah. Full did did ham. you get to meet Prince? No, he was he left the show and like whisked away and got on a plane and that was it and Yeah, yeah. The rest is history. But that was during uh, when we were shooting Baby Driver. So that was 2016. Oh, wow. Did you have the haircut? Did I have the haircut? Yes, the baby I haircut. I had a baby haircut. The baby haircut. <laughs> the, baby hair, the baby ham. <laughs> baby ham. Little baby ham. Here's other questions. <clears throat> I'm some guy. I just want to know, do you do requests? Because you're such a lovely guy. I really mean that. I just... I, I, I Wes, for what? Like, if somebody comes up and goes, will you do my voicemail greeting, and they're really nice about it, will I you have, do it? I have certainly done that. I, I, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's lovely. I remember... Uh, you are just... Yeah. Uh, what a man. Yep. He's salt of the earth, guys. That was very salty. Uh, the real ham and egger. You're incredibly salt of the earth. You're a, you're a ham and egger. That's what you are. <laughs> And I love it. It's really great. Okay, you, you do voicemails. What do you say if you do that? I, uh, whatever they want. I'll say whatever they want. Okay. Yeah. And but Don by Draper the way, wasn't... Let, after the show, just meet me outside. <laughs> Everyone's voicemail. But Don Draper... As Don, as Baby Driver, as the Minion thing. I don't know. Whatever, you, whatever your jam is, I will do it. Uh, the detective from the town. Thank yes, you very much. Uh, Adam Frawley. How dare you for not having his I don't name his... immediately on your... I don't think his name is said in that movie. Adam? It might not be. I don't think it no. is. That's only because and it was... This is how great Boston is. I'm ostensibly the hero of that film because I'm law enforcement. Everyone in Boston hates me. Yeah. Ha uh... <laughs> ha! Ben, ben put one over on you, leaving that fucking thing on your car. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Federal Bureau of Investigation, keeping people safe. Ben Affleck's in Florida with a beard. He got ah, past you. He's sitting on a beach. Where are you? In an office. On Tremont Street. <laughs> Frawley. You didn't even do the accent. I'm not from Boston in the movie, sir. Yeah, you are. I. <laughs> not dance. No. <laughs> Show us. <laughs> yeah, no, Boston. Mulaney said it best. He was like, it's the only city that has all these movies where it's like getting out like is the point it's like can you leave can you leave he without goes, being murdered in other movies there's problems in movies about boston boston is the problem <laughs> <laughs> murder that's not very good that actually made our wedding vows do you remember yeah the movie the town was in our wedding vows oh. I, pr I promised to watch uh, any movie about getting out of Boston or where any other white man succeeds with him. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that he I thought wanted. you were going to say, like, that after you got married, you're like, we are now, the priest was going to say, you are now part of the not fucking around crew. <laughs> yeah, because this no fucking around thing's about to go both ways. Both ways. Uh, all right. Both, both. That would have been cooler. Watch the movie and laugh later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> would you do RuPaul's Drag Race? Would I do it? Yeah, am yeah. I allowed to? I'm pretty sure I'm not. No, you are. They they've asked me to do it, so they'd ask Ham to do it. Once again, they've <laughs> yeah. asked you to do it. <laughs> I tell them to make it again. But uh, uh, I would do it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I, sure. Like it's the, 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 those kinds of things are. This is what we. Why we do what we do is like to have fun. Like that seems like a really fun. Like experience, and then to see all the incredible work that goes into all yes. that stuff is is inspiring. I don't know. I would I would do it just to be a, look how terrible I am. I can, at it. Uh, sure. Yeah. I I'm really. Thank I, you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, it's a con point of contention. I'm still so scared of my to dad. I, like I, 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 I'm, I'm terrified of my dad. Of course, I'd love to do it. Are you bring him on the show? <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck is going on in here? Yeah. <laughs> Get those cantaloupes out of your shirt. <laughs> you have a natural breast. Let the people see it, Dad. I will say the eye makeup is tasteful. 
<laughs> you can see it. Just into one part of it. I like when you do the swoopy eye. I I'll say it. a cat eye looks great on you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you never could grow a mustache, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't I know why you're like that. My parents today, <laughs> uh, that's generous. My dad can't hear shit, so he Loud. comes on and Loud. he goes, Hey, Peter, come on! And I'm like, Hey, flapjacks and the Zim Zam, <laughs> all the Jim Jams with the Sally Dow. And then I'll go like that, and I'll be like, ah, that's great, ah, that's great. <laughs> and that sounds mean, but like he didn't listen to me for well, so long. I mean, so it's, <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, but it's better than having an actual conversation that won't be heard. I think there you go. Yes, At least you're entertaining thank yourself. you. Thank you. That's exactly what it is. Yes. Yeah. It hurts when you're like, well, Pop, a lot's been going on this week. And he goes like, yeah, they're a good team. <laughs> <laughs> well, Your he heart just shatters. He does that with our daughter. Like, our daughter is three and a half and never pays out. But for some reason, always when she's FaceTiming with him, she'll be like, I love you, grumpy. That's what she calls him. And he'll be like, Leela, what, what are you doing? You go to school? And it's like, she just like she love just you. gave you she the never, gold. She would never say that to us. Did you hear that? He doesn't hear it. He misses yeah. it. It's a shame. It's a waste. It's, it's a 45-minute appointment at the ear doctor. <laughs> and he's like, ah, what could I be missing? What's the oh, point? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't done letting out com comedic rage. <laughs> <laughs> fresh, fresh. Better out than in. Visited. Yeah, better out than in. Like jizz. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You brought it back. <laughs> you made it weird. Pardon the interruption, weirdos. This episode of You Made It Weird is brought to us by our friends at Olipop. That's right, it's Olipop, not Olipop. Stop saying Olipop. You sound like a, you sound dumb. It's Olipop, a new kind of soda. I am holding my favorite flavor, which was one of their newer flavors, classic grape. You know, I think the last time I had had a grape soda was probably in junior high at a bowling alley when Emily Bravo didn't want a sip of it because she didn't like grape. What's wrong with you, Emily Bravo? I like grape, and Olipop makes an incredible, incredible classic grape soda. In fact, they make wonderful, wonderful, healthier soda alternatives. It's not a diet soda. It is a better soda. I'm talking vintage cola, classic root beer, orange squeeze, cherry vanilla, strawberry vanilla, probably my second favorite. They make classic grape. Obviously, we talked about it. Tropical Punch, new Tropical Punch, get into it. You know what one that tastes like. And banana cream and orange cream. These are some dope ass flavors. Olipop is a new kind of soda. It tastes like the sodas we grew up with, but unlike those sodas that are full of sugar, corn syrup, and artificial in ingredients like aspartame, Olipop is made with natural ingredients that are actually good for you. It's the fastest growing functional beverage brand in America. They use functional ingredients and combine the benefits of prebiotics, plant fiber, and botanicals to support your microbiome and benefit digestive health. 90% of Americans uh, consume more than the USDA's daily recommended added sugar intake, which is 30 grams. Sweetened beverages like soda are the leading source of added sugar in the American diet. Olipop is much much, much lower in sugar than conventional sodas with only two to five grams of sugar from natural sources and no added sugar. Their vintage cola, for example, has two grams of sugar. Compare that to Coca-Cola, which has 39. And it tastes fantastic. It is an incredible drink. We go through them so fast in our house. It's non-GMO, it's vegan, it's paleo, it's keto-friendly with less than 8 grams net carbs per can. They're so confident that you will love their products. They offer a 100% money-back guarantee for orders placed through their website. And we have a special deal for weirdos. Receive 20% off plus free shipping on your order. I recommend trying the variety pack. That's a great way to check out all the delicious flavors. Go to drinkollipop.com slash weird or use code weird at checkout to claim this deal. That's D-R-I-N-K-O-L-I-P-O-P dot com slash weird. They can also be found in over 6,000 stores across the country, including Kroger, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Wegmans. But show your support of this show. Get it at drinkollipop.com slash weird. 
This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. As you know, we are big fans on the show of talk therapy. As you know, life is full of twists and turns, stress, changes, grief, moments of growth, and moments where we all feel like we're taking a few steps back. And it's important to show up for yourself through all the struggles that life can bring. BetterHelp Online Therapy is here for the twists and the turns and will assess your needs and can help you and can help match you, sorry, with your own licensed professional therapist in less than 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online and the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you don't even have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with tra traditional therapy. I can attest to that. It's always a little bit strange in a waiting room. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. That's a lot of awkwardness <laughs> avoided right there. It's also more affordable than traditional uh, offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp is a great way to show up for yourself and invest in your well-being because, well, you deserve some inner peace. So visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. Go to betterhelp.com slash reviews and visit betterhelp.com slash weirdo. That's help, H-E-L-P, not health, better help. Betterhelp.com slash weirdo weirdo and join the over 2 million people who've taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp, they're even recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. So for weirdos, get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash weirdo. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. You made it weird. Thank you. John, have you ever almost died? I have had a gun pulled on me once by someone I did not know. A gun or a gun knife? Because we need to knife. know. <laughs> Which, can we talk about that for one second? Because I'm very confused as why why you would have a knife in the shape of a gun. It should, like, what, it, do you, is the guy supposed to put his hands up and then you're like, ha ha, now I can get you in your tummy. <laughs> you, you opened up for me. The more sensible thing would be a knife. That shoots bullets. Yeah, yeah. No one's expecting that. You got a knife, and they're like, come on, a knife. Oh, and you're shot, and you're dead. Like, so your last words are like, what are you going to do with a knife? <laughs> uh, give me, give me way far away. Well, he didn't want to bring a knife to a gunfight, and he didn't know which kind of which, fight which it was. Which side so of it he wanted to be on. Well, got to bring you go. both, yeah. How slick was the floor? It looked like it happened on ice. How long was that run-up? I've been to the Hollywood Bowl. There's, yeah. there's, yeah. a, there's some space between the wings and uh, downstage center, yeah. theater term. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a gun pulled on you. Yes, it was in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana, and I wisely uh, put wait, my wait, hands wait, wait. up. Back up, back up, back up. Many, many moons ago. <laughs> Where are you? In the French Quarter. And you're leaving? Leaving some bar and attempting to Alone? walk back to the hotel. Uh, yeah. You're alone. Yeah, smart, because I'm 25 and nothing bad has ever happened to me because I'm uh, white and yeah. uh, smart and uh, was raised with a tremendous amount of privilege. Um, <laughs> Edit that out. Ham on the run. <laughs> oh, so boy. you're walking alone. And, uh, so your bit works. You know, it's, there's, there's good blocks and bad blocks and good neighborhoods and bad neighbors in New Orleans. And they're very, you can take the wrong turns. It's a pre iPhone era, pre, uh, well, I followed this way to go here and a pre yeah. Uber and a pre thing. I was like, I just, what's two blocks? I can walk it. And I just remember getting, I could see my hotel and I turn to the thing and I go to see, and the person is coming up to me and I'm like, how you doing? Whatever. And, uh, they're always nice up there. There was a, uh, all of a sudden it was a gun and I was like, oh, that's a, that's a gun. And I put my hands up, and I put, took everything out of my pockets, and I put it on the ground, and I was like, that is all, whatever you want out of that is yours, and I will, I'm going to go right over there, and uh, take it, leave it, do whatever you want, uh, just don't shoot me. And the guy was like, okay. <laughs> I love that you're setting the terms. <laughs> What if he just wanted to show you his cool gun? Look at my cool gun, man. What? I, hey, look at his gun. I'm not a criminal. You've You've been waiting a long time. There's a waiting Come period. on. <laughs> and you're like, okay, there you go. You're profiling no, people it was, walking in. There's not a lot people. of, you know, there's, there's, it, everything happens at once, and it seems like in slow motion, and it seems like in fast motion, and all of the blood runs all of the places, and the sweat pours out of you, and then as soon as it's sort of over, 
you have this kind of hyperventilating moment. But yes, so to, to answer your question, that's a, I, I, I guess I almost died. I, I, it, yeah. No, that's a uh, fantastic answer, and I'm going to say it. It's a fantastic question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes to both. How about anything ever happened to you that you can't explain? I'm broadening the question. Have you ever gone to a psychic that knew something really personal mm, about you? Have you ever seen a ghost? No, but I will tell this story, and I think it's kind of cool. Um, I used to have kind of, and I still have them, but like these dreams that become very, very, very real, very uh, uh, almost three-dimensional, but like almost like a waking dream. Like you, you feel like you're very much in the dream. You know it's a dream because of huh. tendons <laughs> of the dream. And, um, but you're also like, I'm, I'm, I'm making choices. I'm sitting down. I'm talking. I'm, and it happens at like sort of inflection points in my life. So when I first like went to college, um, I had a dream, and my mother, who died when I was very young, appeared in the dream and said, you're going to be okay. It's a college is very, uh, it's a very big place. It's a new place, but you're going to be okay. And I remember waking up and I was fully like sob weeping. And like, I left the next day for college and I was relatively okay. Uh, and then the day before I moved to California from St. Louis, I was getting ready to leave. I was sleeping in my, on my friend's couch. My car was packed up. I had all $150 and a discover card. Uh, Edit my out. name. We're, we're a MasterCard show. MasterCard show, on. sorry. And a <laughs> Discover card. A Capital One MasterCard. What's in my wallet? That. <laughs> What's in my wallet? Discover card. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. Sorry. <laughs> Company that didn't exist in 1995. <laughs> uh, like and my, uh, in the ensuing period, my uh, father had passed away, uh, as did my father's mother, my grandmother, who I lived with for many years. And all three of them showed up that night in the dream. <laughs> And said, you're going to be okay. And I woke up again, this like heaving, sobbing to where I like woke my friend up. I was like, dude, are you okay? I was like, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I just, I'm, I'll be okay, I think, as my mommy told me I'm going to be okay. And my daddy did too. And my Grammy did too. And like, you leave me alone. Um, and I got my car the next day and, and I was okay. Wow. Oh. I just want to point out, we don't do a pre-interview. So that is like the best, yeah. like off the cuff. Something I can't explain? And and I'm a bit of a lucid dreamer. And then you break <laughs> off into it. That was incredible. Your and pure show business. You spread on smooth. And it was kind of Mother's Day themed. It was, it was little, on yeah. theme. Oh, it is Mother's Aww. Day. Well, very sweet. Here's yeah. to you, Abraham. <laughs> no, any, yeah, absolutely. Any, any lucid dreams lately? Um, no. I haven't had one in a, in a while. Um, I, might have, I feel like I might have had one the day before we started shooting Mad Men. But I will tell this awful story. I remember waking up on the day we had to shoot Mad Men, and I, I had auditioned for the show eight times. I, I had worked on every piece of the script with the director and the, and the writer and everybody, and I, just, I knew it backwards and forwards and up and down, and I remember looking at myself going like, okay, get some sleep, and of course I couldn't sleep, and it's two in the morning, I have to be there at five, that's Silver Cup Studios, and what are we going to do? And I get there in the van, and the guy pulls up, and they're like, what's going on? There's a dead body in the parking lot. <gasps> Whoa. Covered in a sheet. I think you said cheese. Covered in cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Uh, okay. Shredded cheese. Shredded cheese. <laughs> Guys, don't back off. Yeah, you're well, shredded. Like you, like you would say no. It was a mixture. It was a blend. It was a blend of shredded cheese. It was fiesta cheese. Fiesta. <laughs> it was blend. a fiesta cheese. Uh, no, it was covered in a sheet, and, uh, and there was one of those little NYPD, like, three-wheel, one-man scooter deals with, but with a roof and, and doors. Oh, yeah. Well, guarding it. And we kind of pulled up next, like, is everything okay? Like, yeah, somebody uh, jumped off the bridge. Where, like, if you know, if you know Silver Cup, there's like the 59th Street Bridge or whatever, and you come right over there, and it literally goes over the thing, and it he, turns out he hadn't jumped. He fell out of a moving car that <gasps> did a, was like a Jeep or something. They finally figured this out, and like the guy did a twist or a turn or an evasive maneuver of some sort, and the dude like went floing and, and landed, and they, they, yeah, it didn't work out for him. That is oh, a that was real... the first day of shooting. And that oh was, it was God. there all day. Like, we kept, like, fin like shooting a thing. I mean, like, is the thing, it's still there, okay. Is somebody going to, like, do, like, get that? Like, what are you, who do you call, who are you going to call? Whoa. Oh it's not the Ghostbusters. It's not the Ghostbusters. It's not the Ghostbusters. It turns out. I wonder if, as he was falling, it was playing, da 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 Valerie! That was incredible. Matt Weiner was looking out the window and was like, I have an idea. That 
was the riff of the fucking wow, century. Wow, and because wow. it involved death that happened to someone you don't know a long time ago, <laughs> most of you were like, we'll sit out on expressing joy. <laughs> Just in case that dude comes back to bite us in the ass. Because that was incredible. That was very, very well done. I've never been more proud of you. <laughs> um, Ham, we've taken so much of your time. Real speed round. Ready? Uh-oh. What's your favorite cheat food? You just wrapped Top Gun. Can't wait to see it. What are you chowing down on? What's my favorite? What? Cheat food? Cheat food. Yeah. Um, don't say a corpse with uh, Mexican cheese on it. No, well, no. That's, I'm doing it because I know you don't like but it. But I will say, I will say anything Mexican food, I will go towards a taco or a, or a burrito or a tamale of some sort. I'm a big, big All right. All right. Correct. That is Not correct. nachos. Calm down, whoever said that. Let me, let me list my food. You list yours when you're up here. <laughs> um... <laughs> We, By the way, nachos the worst Mexican food because I'm sorry this is the speed round, but you know what? You brought it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You get one decent nacho out of a plate of nachos. Oh my god! And then it's all over the place. Yeah. Bear yeah. chips, yeah. soggy mess. You might as well eat it with a fork. It might as well be called something completely different. You get the one good nacho, yeah. which is you are correct, delicious. But the plate <laughs> is then ruined. Anyway, I. I, literally, that took my breath away because it's been there the whole time, that premise. Yeah. You know how many comedians there are? Hundreds. <laughs> and none of us have gone, it's on. one good nacho, <laughs> and then a desert of dry <laughs> chips, and song on the bottom. Ham, <laughs> hey, it's not fair. Give it to me. I, it might be on Tim Robinson's show. I mean, it's, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, well, it's adjacent. I made it better. <laughs> um, it's been six years since Mad Men. Who do you miss the least? <laughs> <laughs> I'm canceled for that. You, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to Pete Campbell. Good job. Um, oh. The character Pete yes. Campbell, no. who Don Draper, Dick Whitman, famously didn't like. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Too political. <laughs> I thought you might say Don, uh, Don Draper. No, he was well, such no, a well, that, but like you know, it was it, it has. I can't believe it was six years. It was fifteen years since the pilot, the pilot aired, uh, wow. which was weird. Somebody sent me that. Um, but uh, we lost Bobby Morse uh, this uh, last couple of weeks, and uh, he was such a bright light and an amazing man, an amazing career. Um, and I, I, I was very sad to see him go, but I, I didn't miss him the least. I just wanted to give him a yeah. Uh, no, that's a beautiful yeah. use of my terrible yeah. question. You can give that up. Yeah. Are you a weed guy? Weed, no. I mean, I'm not against it. I'm, I'm all for, for folks. I, 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 it just doesn't, I don't know if it doesn't work on me. Like, I tend to just go right to sleep, which is not yeah. the worst thing, but yeah. it's kind of like, oh, are we going to sleep? Like, well, then cool. Let's, <laughs> let's have some weed. And it's like, this is really. <laughs> Ham on the run. I've had, I had the one once, I had a once where it was, uh, it made me laugh, and I had the greatest time. And yeah. I've never, ever had that again. Oh, no. Like, right uh, to sleep. You chased the dragon. Yeah. Not really. You I was like, like I, don't think it's, I don't think it's for me. My cat no, doesn't. I chased the dragon, because I've had one, like, silly, silly, fun oh, time, and then every other time is me eating we were peanut watching butter season. in a bathroom. <laughs> eating peanut butter in a bathroom, looking in the mirror, going like, this will be me. Like... <laughs> Yeah, we were watching the dog whisperer, whatever that guy, Caesar Million, and it's for whatever reason it was Caesar Milan. Milan. It was very Which is uh, Portuguese for him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny. It was a funny show. Yeah, funny that's people a get great show to watch when you're stoned. That's yep. fantastic. The best show, show once. Just a pro tip, Family Double Dare. Family Double yeah. Dare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because kids today know how to be on camera. Not then. Not in the 80s. They're like half in, half out the light. They have like Unabomber glasses. They're like, <laughs> we came in from Orlando! <laughs> and they like just pee down the khakis. They throw up dry alphabet cereal. There's, there's another version of that, which is watching the very early family feuds when the families are not chosen for their telegenicness. That's right. And you're like, <laughs> it's, and it's, it's the just Watson a... family. You're like, yeah. uh-oh. <laughs> 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 this feels real. This is. I don't want to be on that ride home. <laughs> no. Um, all right, real quick. <laughs> it's on Amazon. Do yourself a favor. It's... <laughs> this is my last question for you, Ham. Well, I have two questions. Uh, real quick. <laughs> God damn. Um, three. I have three questions for you. <laughs> Do you ever get out of the shower uh, and realize you washed your butt, but you forgot to rinse it? Sure. Like you've gotten back in. Yeah, for sure. You go. I, I've gone back in for m many reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
uh, you know, uh, like I, some for, my shower comes down like from the top, like yeah. like 180, whatever 90, degree, whatever that thing is, like it doesn't yeah. have an yeah. angle. Yeah. It has a top down move. So it's, it's a rain great. shower. It's a rain Rain-ish shower. Rain-ish yeah. Shower. Yeah. yeah. Rain. It- no. No. Okay, that goes up. The day is 100 percent up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's a geyser. Uh, this is rain. <laughs> but uh, but I, I then I'm like, oh, it doesn't get under your arm. Yeah. You, like then you got to do like a back bend and kind of yeah. get one of these. Yeah. yeah. And or I, a splash. Or a splash. Yeah. Like, yeah mm-hmm. I, I've definitely had that, and I'd be like, oh, son of a, I didn't. I yeah, you get out and your armpit. butt's a little slippery. Yeah. No one wants a soapy <laughs> armpit. Um, dead over. Dead over. <laughs> do you think when we die, it's over? Yes. All right. Sorry, Thanks guys. For that. I, I don't think it. I know it. So. <laughs> Uh, spend it while you got it. That's all it. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, it's a bummer. <laughs> you got a cheers over there. Somebody lifted their glass to you. Yeah, I think yeah. it's yeah. death right. himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's that yeah. you're a fan of my work. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite final. You'll find. <laughs> <You'll vibe. laughs> now prove you can dance. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last question. Um, What's the hardest time you've ever laughed? The time you've laughed the hardest? I, I will say, I will say that, that it was, the, the, the dog whisperer thing was pretty close. Yeah. Uh, the fun, the, it wasn't me, but I will say I, I laughed pretty hard during this. The, the biggest laugh I've ever seen, and, I, and I've, I've heard this phrase of like rolling in the aisles, and you're like, okay, I guess that's like, that was a, that was a fun like 30s term from Broadway when right. I had them rolling in the aisles. <laughs> uh, that's how people talk then. Yeah. I'm down. Was My like, doll split her dress all the way up again. Hope this, hope this uh, World War II thing works itself out. We'll see. I don't know. It was two uh, cabbage fistfuls full of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm here to yes and. I don't, I don't have it yet. Uh, anyways, <laughs> we, uh, were, I was, I was at opening weekend of the second Austin Powers. And the first one kind of was a stealth hit. People didn't know what to expect. Yeah. They didn't know what this was going to be. And it was a huge phenomenon. Lo and Global behold, it was Shagadon. Yeah. And then they, and then they did uh, a second one. And, and so we're, here we are. I forget who was in it. It was, a, you know, bigger, louder and whatever. And, uh, there's a reveal on it where, uh, Tom Cruise is actually playing Austin Powers, and he's climbing a thing. It's like Mission Impossible, and he's in the in the blue suit with the floofy collar, and he turns around and goes, "Yeah, baby, yeah." And the whole place. This is opening weekend. We're in a double decker stadium theater at at uh, at 68th and Broadway in in New York City. A man, and those are those weird chairs that they don't make anymore that like kind of squeak back like a little like yeah. Ring. You're like, oh, this is more comfortable. Ring. Like oh, I got another inch. Great. They're loud. They they're annoying. And I watched this man, a heavy set gentleman, go, laugh and do this in front of him. Almost hit his head on that, and realize he didn't hit his head and hit the back thing, which then breaks and he falls out into the aisle laughing. Whoa! He kept laughing. He kept laughing. It was funny. He realized that not only was that funny, this was funny. And we were laughing. I was like, ah! They're rolling in the aisles. It's actually happening. Oh, uh, my God. Great one. And that man was Tom Cruise yeah, watching his Tom own Cruise. movie. <laughs> in the fat suit from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for John. Fuck it, everybody! Hey! John Ham, John Ham, John Ham. Thanks, buddy. John Ham, John Ham. John Ham, John Ham, John Ham, John Ham, John Ham, John Ham, do. He said in jizz, he said in jizz. All right, I got the ham afterglow, everybody. I'm, I'm happy from ham. Um, but there's, there's so much more after this word from Meandies. I'm just kidding. Um, are you guys excited for this next guest? What was that, 9% of you? You guys excited for this next guest? You know him from SNL, from the movie Popstar. Give it up for Chris Red. Chris Red, 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 Chris Red. Ba-dum, da-dum, da-dum. What's up, man? What's going on, man? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Great question. Man, what the fuck <laughs> is this? 
<laughs> Do you mean the show or reality? Man, I'm fucked up, man. I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> no, I flew I flew in today, and I got to fly out tomorrow, so nothing is real. You, you ever have life feel like you're on shrooms? Yes. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's, it's like, well, you know, shrooms instructions is like, like when you buy shrooms, like go to the forest. It's like if you took shrooms and was like, I'm going to go to a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to sit courtside. And I'm going to be like, hey, nigga, pass. <laughs> it's like that. That's how I feel right now. That's really how you feel? Yeah. Why? Because you were flying? Also, I was drinking a lot. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleep deprived and I've been drinking a lot. You know, and I called my mom and she was like, I don't got a son no more. And I'm like, what? <gasps> she didn't. Oh, today. Dude. No, no, no. no. It, really? Th- please don't make it over dramatic. She's a black mom. <laughs> She's just, she's just doing that because I'm not in Mississippi, nigga. No one wants to be in Mississippi, like, by choice. Oh. So you you called your mom on Mother's Day, and yeah. what did she say exactly? And she was like, oh, there he is. I don't got a son no more. I'm like, nigga, it's 4 o'clock. Oh. No, it's still Mother's Day. Congratulations. Dude, dude we just, my mom was just yeah, here. This is real. Mom. We, yeah. I hugged her. It was the end of the meal. Yeah. It's the, the last, last meal. 10 seconds of the last meal. We were yeah. almost this out. Is How three, many meals you got Three had? days of three meals, man. <laughs> it was like Ozfest. Oh, my God. So much food. And I hug her, and I go, Mom, thanks for being such a great mom. And in the hug, she goes, I wish you would be a better son. Damn. And there's no son's day. How about that shit? <laughs> yeah, right? There's no son's day anywhere. Man, I never bought that shit when they were like... Every day is kids day? Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, no. Yeah. No, how? Yeah. How is it kids day and I'm grounded? I, <laughs> my, I re- my mom took all my doors and my pants one time. <laughs> like, what the fuck do you do as a child with no pants and no door? <laughs> she took your doors? <laughs> my, all my doors and my pairs of pants. Your doers blended scotch whiskey? <laughs> No, 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 no. I was a child. I ain't know nothing about alcohol. <laughs> doors, as in knobs. She took knock your doors. And your pants. No, the pants were more dramatic than the doors. Yeah. No. That's I was a- playing Nintendo like Winnie the Pooh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no you, pants. You had no pants. Oh, no, no. Hey, let me turn my hat backwards so y'all can understand. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she take your doors? Because I, I, that's some I, Bob Vila shit right there. Well, because she said don't watch TV, and I was like, <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> and I closed my door and I locked it. And she was like, oh, you lock doors. So then she took the door so I could no longer lock it. Would she like uh. bust it in like the Kool Aid woman? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> she hired a dude to hold a screw. Oh. <laughs> she got another she, adult involved? Yeah, yeah, she brought she brought my Uncle Clint. He was like, hey, shit, you should have been fucking up. As he, <laughs> he's talking shit as he's taking my door. <laughs> he don't live there, dog. Like, at all. <laughs> at all. all. Like, should have been talking shit. Shut up. You you do crack sometimes. <laughs> no, he did. No, Uncle Clint. It's, just a, it's a podcast. It'll be out there. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> a dude who sometimes <laughs> smoked crack. Yeah. Oh, he was. He prided himself on sometimes being cra- a crackhead. <laughs> He's like, no, I ain't a full crackhead. I'm, I, I, you know, half moon, nigga. What? <laughs> half? Mo- you can't say half moon and just do crack. Half moon? <laughs> I don't even know what that means, dog. <laughs> but I kind of get it. Yeah, it's like a horoscope for crackhead. <laughs> He's a Gemini for crap. <laughs> he was a half head. <laughs> he was a half head. He was a half head. He was. Oh, he's going to love the fact you said that. <laughs> no, he honest, I'm going to go back to summer. I'm going to see him like, yeah, you, you know your boy a half head. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still on that crack? Nah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead. I am dead. I am dead. And he took the door off, and then you, how long did you not have doors? Oh, uh, for like a week or two. Was uh, that, did that overlap with not having any pants? And what no, was- no, the pants came back around school time, so Monday. 
<laughs> the pants were back. Yeah, people would know. Like, oh, the pants are back. <laughs> yeah. What was the idea of taking your pants? I think my mom was just mad. <laughs> She was like, you, and also, you can't have pants. And we were, it was like, me and my little brother, like, what? And my little brother, you know, he's a little brother. She's like, I got pants. <laughs> it's like, putting on different pants around me. Like, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Uh, we're on the same team. What the fuck is going on? That's how I feel about Halfhead. He's on your team. <laughs> yeah. Who gets a call from a mom and is like, I'm going to take my son's doors. And he's like, I'll be there in five. I'm smoking some crack right now, but I'll be there. Uh, if you know anything about crackheads, they're looking for the next job. She paid him? Yeah. She... I thought this was like a family affair. It's no, like, I need to free... It was a family affair. Like, yes. she, could, she could give him the money, but that would go against, you know, what she, what she stands for. Which yeah. I'm not going to give you money for crack. You got to work for <laughs> You have to work for your crap. work for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also, she called a lot of people, and nobody was ridiculous enough to take a door (laughs) off their son's hinges, except my crackhead-ass uncle, Clint. That's when it's good to know. I'll take the motherfucking doors off. Shit. What else doors you need taken off? (laughs) No other doors, He's removing faucets just for free. (laughs) I took some faucets out for free. I took that toilet outside the bathroom. I put that shit in the family room. Now you can shit near your couch. (laughs) It's half-head. Yeah, man, Uncle Clint. So what's what's up with your mom? Is she religious? Yeah, she yeah. What flavor? Um man, every every black flavor. Uh Baptist, Methodist, Methodist, Methodist Episcopal, uh yeah. What's we, going we, on there? Why does she keep the, changing teams? There's a lot of genres of Jesus, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's a lot there's, of yeah, genres? Yeah, there's a lot of genres of Jesus. Oh, genres. <laughs> genres, yeah. It's, genres. So, yeah, you have, you have, you have long... <laughs> Look, I, I'm hearing You need more everything. black friends, yeah. Pete. <laughs> All oh, you man. hearing is a black Chicago accent. For real, I, could, <laughs> I couldn't hear Ham either. <laughs> Ham also didn't have good mic technique. It'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Ham. Ham, you are not loved right now. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, no, we we, we lot grew of up in genre, a, Jesus genres. Yeah, a lot of yeah. genres of Jesus. You you find out that most of the genres uh, are similar. Yeah. No, nah, nigga, Mormon Jesus, is crazy. <laughs> hey, I don't know how you white people let that shit happen, nigga. Have you read that book? It's like cartoon characters and alien. Movies, nigga. It's also, <laughs> it's also Jesus comes to America. Look, yeah. No offense to my Latter Day Saint friends, but Jesus does come to America, and that comes. yeah, and that's crazy, it's dog. Like, you, yeah. you telling me Jesus was hanging out with prostitutes and other people? It was walking on water. I was like, hey, dog, we gotta go to America, <laughs> which didn't exist yet. No, it at was, all. It was native and they were people. Like, What's America? Like, trust me, dog. <laughs> you trust me about that half a crack, didn't you? <laughs> Stupid. Oh my God. That's so stupid. Oh. John 14, 6, other sheep. So you memorized the shortest motherfucking verse in a fucking fake Bible? <laughs> Good job, man. What else did you do today? Put on pants? This nigga. This nigga here. This nigga here. This motherfucker here. Look at this motherfucker here. I didn't know. I've always wanted to conspire with you. This guy right this here. Motherfucker. <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite part of the show. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> this is it. See, this is why this is better than stand-up. If I was doing stand-up, a guy like that, it's like a curtain is on fire in your living room, and everyone's just, like, pretending that they don't see it. It's like, it's fine. Every once in a while, you smell smoke, but it's mostly fine. But, like, when you're doing stand-up and you're, like, doing a routine, here you can be like, what the fuck? This is why I love this. This is my stand-up, though. You don't understand. What do you I, mean? I would talk about this motherfucker for 35 minutes. If <laughs> We're in a different setup. There's a fucking teak. Tea table in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? These, these chairs, nigga. I'm trying to act like I'm in a library. What is happening? I thought he had. No, no, no. He's guy. good. He's good. You should let him. Be. Oh, are you asking me to boot him? Thirty-five minutes. Thirty. Oh, Nick. Huh? Oh. Give you a. Th- are you the guy? Oh, are you the, the guy, guy that was sitting he's down? He's oh, that's the, the guy. The curtain. Oh, you're standing up now, nigga. Sit the fuck down, man. Okay. Why are you dressed like the help, nigga? Sit down. Don't he look like he'll give you more popcorn in a movie theater? <laughs> Sit your ass down. You look like you were in Greece as an extra. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a half head. Please it's a half down. head for sure. <laughs> Please sit down. There's not that many white crackheads, but you made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> 
So your mom is different genres than Jesus. Yeah, my mom and my dad, yeah, they, we, we just moved around a lot. So we went to a lot of different churches and whatever the church's like dynamic was, we just fell in line with it. Did you fall in line with it? Like, did you? Yeah, because as a, as a kid, you don't have a choice for real. You can't be like, nah, I'm not going to church because there's enough people going to hit you and you're going to be like, I guess I'm going to church. <laughs> <laughs> but did you believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I still believe there's something bigger than us. Yeah. Right? yeah. But I just think all like like religion is is too much money and too much like human influence. So yeah. It's mm. I think it's a little muddy. You know, I mean, this is corny, but I think Jesus would agree with you. That was the whole temple turning over the tables thing. Yeah. Like as soon as you turn it into a business, it gets it's, it gets muddy, man. Yeah. I just think he was a cool dude with long hair. I hate the sandals, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> no, sandals suck. Finish the shoe. <laughs> How about that? Nigga, finish the shoe. How about that? I don't oh, know. Finish the fucking shoe. I'm sorry. This you are so of... fucking funny. I'm real. I know I shouldn't interrupt the flow, but like, I feel like I'm getting more talented just by being near you. Oh, <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I'm sorry. I'm just... What does your mom think of your devilish ways? <laughs> Damn, you just sounded like my mom's friend. Yo, you understand? My mom's friend, Rebecca, was like, oh, I'm so, what are you? Dude. <laughs> When I started no, comedy, what... my mom's friend, Roberta, who has the gift of prophecy, you guys know Roberta, <laughs> she wrote me a letter that was like, you shouldn't do stand-up because it's in bars where there's alcohol. And there were all these verses from Exodus. You know it's a stretch when you yeah. got to go back to Exodus. Yeah, yeah. Exodus was not a great version no, no. of... You know what should make an Exodus from the Bible? The book of Exodus. <laughs> like we're, and Le Leviticus? Get out of here. The if you're quoting I'm... numbers, you're trying to prove some yeah, backwards yeah, yeah, dog. And you also don't know numbers. Right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that was one of those. That was a. That was a. Yeah, I knew it was bad when I said it. I didn't think it was bad. What you saw was me go in the yes and bucket, and I was like something about Roman numerals, and I was like maybe I'll just say yeah. <laughs> so that's all you saw. So what is what what does like for real though? What does your mom make of this? This is crazy. Your life is crazy. Yeah. Well, she wasn't. She wasn't my fan. We didn't get along growing up. But uh, once this started making some money. My mom was like, oh, that's what she was trying to say the whole time. So, yeah. so there's a lot of resentment there. but for you, From you? From, from me. I but wasn't that I, cute when I didn't have no loot, that sort of thing? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. you weren't there with me shooting in the gym. She was like, I don't give a fuck. And then, <laughs> but when I, when, I, when I started therapy and I, and I came back and I was like, I have a lot of resentment for y'all. and I, I need to, we didn't have You confronted them? I did, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a very in-your-face motherfucker. This is not stage shit. This is who I would be. If I was standing outside, I, <laughs> look but, at this. This is awesome. Yeah, he's the I love this. This is great. <laughs> Y'all look like two white people that saw a black person interact for the first time. Look at this. Look at him. No, I agree. Oh my God. No, I fair. completely that's agree. Fair. That's a totally fair. <laughs> we kind of look the same too. Yeah. So we're just, this has got to be oh so. My God. This has got to be so I, weird for you. <laughs> that is the angle, but it's not. I know no, black no, people no. that aren't like that. You know what I mean? That <laughs> yeah. don't confront not their to, mom and yeah. say. No, it's I've a hard been to thing. therapy and yeah. stuff. That's crazy. I, I did it for selfishly because I need it too. You know what I mean? And but I also just like if we we're gonna have a relationship, I just couldn't pretend. I don't pretend. It was more love. loving to confront. Yeah, than... and, and they were like so understanding that it almost pissed me off. Oh. Even more. No, it did. I was like, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Y'all were wrong. I'm, I, and y'all gonna answer for some shit. They're like, yeah. we're here for you, whatever you need. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so mad, bro. I was oh, mad. Oh, they My extinguished God. it quickly oh, with love. Yeah, oh, I hated it oh, so much. I was like, I oh. did. I love y'all too. Then what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> but you're. I saw your mom on the Mother's Day SNL. Yeah, so yeah. she's been. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. what was she like on the stage? Oh, she's a natural, and I, I really, hate, yeah, she's very. She's like a talented lady, or when, just comfortable. No, when, she's very talented. She's very comfortable, in, in, like on a stage. Um, she's funny when she's not trying too hard. Like, she's truly naturally funny. When she tries too hard, it's like, ma, come on, ma, you know. But she's right. like, she's like naturally knows how to like do the thing, and even more now because she's like watching it all the time. And is she able to see you? Like, if she watches you in a sketch, does she? process it this is a loaded question because i can watch my mom watch me do stand-up or yeah. a show i was on she won't hear it it's i, I think the whole time it's just ee, that's my boy <laughs> like oh, I, i've seen them in the audience and they're just like 
And they look around. They go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm like talking about yeah. them, yeah. and they still don't understand. But does your mom like? Oh, my mom, my mom, my mom watches. She's into it. She's in it. When I when I mention how long my parents been together, she looks around to see people clap. Oh, well, okay. And and, yeah, and and then if I if I if I like tell a story or I, you know you know have a, like a narrative joke, and uh, and you know I've written a joke about it and something's like not true, she she almost want to stand up like I I want to get up there and tell them exactly what happened. I'm like ma, no one gives a <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I get you back. You got to put me in my room for 12 days. I get to make up bullshit. Nigga, that's what I get to do. Do you keep looking at her and go, pants? <laughs> you should have taken pants those now. pants, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how much will Levi's worth it to you? Um, look, I'm going to ask you a bunch more questions, but let's do it with the next guest. Do you know who the next guest is? You know who it is. Of course I know. Will you bring him up? Of course. All right, here it is. Oh, please. You can stay where you are. Please give it up for the ultimate talented <laughs> motherfucker from Chicago. Please give it up for Mateo Lee. That was good. Mateo Lee. Look at this man. Look at this man. I'm sorry. Is this Kumail Nanjiani right now? Jeez Louise. I have um, never seen you sleeveless. Why are you ever sleeved? Um, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Come on. Hey, what's up? Hi. Nice hey. to see you, man. Good to see you, too. I almost didn't make it because I just had it in my mind. I'm like, you're at the Largo. So I'm like listening to Mariah on my way there. And then I get there. I'm like, boy, it's all locked up. There must be some way in. And like not getting it. Like, why would the audience go in and then they would lock the audience? Like, none of it made... <laughs> There was like a like a weird like smoke shop next door. I was like, I guess I could get poppers. I mean, I don't know. I just <laughs> so. Anyways, I made it. So I'm so yeah. glad you made it. It's yeah. wonderful to be here. I want to ask both. Of, I have so many questions for you specifically, Mateo. But I was like, I have the general questions I want to ask both of you. So that's how we'll open. Okay. Who? What? Either one of you can go first. Whoever thinks of it first. Top or bottom? Are you a top or a bottom? <laughs> top all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she rides it, so I like the bottom, too, because I like to see her have fun. I don't know. <laughs> I will teach you about the bees and the bees later. Um, the bees and the bees! Oh, that, that, I used it wrong. <laughs> I love you, Chris. I never realized the bees are the dudes. No, Mateo teaches me all things gay, man. <laughs> ATG? We're, we're starting easy, so I'm just we're going over Mariah's discography. And then Is that real? I was like, damn, I didn't know, my, I didn't know Mariah was so, you know, detrimental. Yeah, Mariah was detrimental. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to the what? gay community. Oh, she doesn't like gay people. No, no, no she loves gay no. people. She's been, she, been like, she, she's important to. Yeah. Detrimental yeah, doesn't mean important. important though. Nigga, I went I to community college. Hey, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I've been using detrimental wrong for a long time. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I'm glad that we have the moment <laughs> yeah, where you realize listen, I, you have a lot of people that don't keep it real enough to say, oh, hey, Chris, I keep it real. I'm wearing traffic on my T-shirt right now. <laughs> hey, bro, listen, I didn't know what detrimental meant, but I did fuck my college teacher. So oh, I feel like I won in some way. Yeah. You did? Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe it's all trauma. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. 23. It's real early for these kind of re re revelations. Is that the right word? Yes. <laughs> Fuck, man. You taught me it's more loving to confront. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it is. I All feel right. stupid as hell. Have you either... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever let it go, Pete? Shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, why? Your hairline is hanging on by a thread, my nigga. Why is he yelling? I don't understand what's because happening. he has a big forehead. Is he a part of the show or just wants that much attention? No, nah, he's he's waiting on his meth pickup. Oh my god, gross! What an idiot. <laughs> this is Chicago right here. This yeah, is yeah. Chicago. It's really great. Hilarious. <laughs> Has anything ever happened to you that you can't explain? Psychics, ghosts, UFOs, anything? Uh, how I got fired from Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> you are the king. I am. Well, I know how I was stealing, but... Um, <laughs> 
actually. <laughs> Stealing Sweat. This is real Chicago. I had all my friends come in and steal, too. Yeah. Oh, that's how you knew you was really winning. You was really winning if you could get your friends. Hey, yo, come up here around 12 o'clock, yeah. dog. I was like, just show up. I'm like, the security cameras aren't there. Just show up. I'll swipe your ID and go home. You know, like... <laughs> So funny. Yeah, Mike. And then I got fired from the container store because I, I was also stealing. And um, I've stolen from every job. What were you stealing from the container store? Um, okay, so there were these... Okay. There were these little tiny containers you could... So I, I love playing Game Boy and there were things you... Anyway, it's really cute to put your Game Boy game stuff in it. And I, I love Pokemon. Anyway, so I just stole that. And then this bitch of a woman named Linda who used to eat Starburst out of a Chex box fired me. And I was like, get your life together, Linda. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Yo, I, I need to know more about Linda, dog. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, like, did she, tr- did she drop the Starburst in the checks box? Did she eat the checks? It was like, yo, we, we, I got another This isn't this over. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say goodbye to this box. Yeah. Is, did she just hey. Starburst already come in a container? Yeah. Yeah. She wanted people to think she was eating checks. Like, like I'm having a healthy snack. Bitch, it's all the strawberry yo, Starburst. But, I see you. Yeah, we can see your mouth, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I know what checks mix looks like when you chew it. <laughs> wow, those checks mix must be real stale. <laughs> <laughs> Linda. I'm sorry. Okay, ask it again. Something strange. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I, ghosts don't exist. But my aunt, so I'm Italian and Mexican, so that means, is anyone Italian or Mexican here? I feel All like right, Italian. So wait, how many, how many uh, uh, aunts do you have that talk to dead people? <laughs> this is only for, do you have any aunts that talk to dead people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a normal thing for Latinos and Italians. They all, my aunt Nikki That's what I was going to say. People. Like, your heritage is a, a ghosty people. You, you're not really ghostly a- people. <laughs> <laughs> you're not into it. Did you just call me ugly? Um, <laughs> how dare you? I was fired from Michael's. Yeah. No, I don't believe in ghosts, but my aunt Nikki really does believe in ghosts. But And she talks to them? Well, that's what she says. Right. I don't know. I love my Aunt Nikki. But they also do this thing. They put this thing over your wrist, and if it swings a certain way, it tells you how many kids you're going to have. Mine just swung and called me a faggot. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like, you know, it's pretty... <laughs> now, I, be- I believe in <laughs> yeah, ghosts. Chris. I believe in ghosts. Right. I believe in ghosts, but, uh, but, like, every time I've been haunted, it's by a ghost that's kind of, like, unbothered, and I don't like that. <laughs> Like, I, I'll hear some shit in the other room, and I'm like, oh, shit, a ghost. But this nigga takes a long time to haunt me, bro. And I'm like, hey, bro, what are you watching TV? <laughs> what else do you have going on? Yeah, no, my, my TV would turn on and turn off. That was the only thing that was weird happening. I'm like, nigga, this nigga's watching TV. <laughs> oh, you know what? I love Ghost Adventures. It's my favorite TV show. It's been going on for 20 seasons, and they've never found a single ghost. And... <laughs> The host is a complete nightmare. His name is Zach. He looks like trash. And he says every episode, he's like, my name is Zach. I'm a demonologist. <laughs> First of all, my parents were disappointed when I told them I was gay. I can't imagine. Oh. I'm a de- <laughs> Sitting them down and being like, mom, dad, I'm going into demonology. <laughs> They'd be like, we'd rather you suck a dick. I mean, it's like, at least it's there. But also, I, yes, I would like, you know, also, you know, so because the Travel Channel's only ghost hunting shows, and it's, it's a lot of white people. Only white people look for ghosts, by the way. Yo, That's it. Only, hey, I, I wanted to do that. I wanted to make a first black they ghost do. hunting show. It's called, the, it's called, this is so, it's Five Black Barbers. It gets worse. And no. It's called Ghost Brothers. No, see, I don't need to make all that. I want to make a ghost show called, mm, we good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where you never go in? Hey, yo, we go, we go right up to the door, like, yo, hey, yo, this is man haunted. Uh, we good. <laughs> Wait, Chris, but I'm going to do a show called Queer Eye for the Dead Guy. Yeah! And it, it'll, <laughs> it'll just be five gay men walking into a haunted, well, of course he's haunting you. Look at your wearing. You know, like, <laughs> and... And the ghosts won't want to leave because they'll make the house look even nicer than when yeah. it was before. Uh. Oh, we should go. Into, why don't we have our own TV yeah, show? Yeah, Netflix, uh. call us. Yeah, Netflix, we're available. Do, uh. <laughs> <laughs> do you just want to watch this all? I know. I 
This is a day off for old Petey. <laughs> we were on a plane together, and do you know how annoyed all the rich white men were? <laughs> Hearing us talk all day. This is the two worst things a Republican can fly with is a black man and a gay man having a good time. <laughs> In first class. <laughs> And also, wait, the guy in front of you hated us. He kept doing that thing. Like, he was watching Fox. Also, <laughs> now, keep in mind, so Chris said the funniest thing to me because we're like, we're starving. It's so early. It was like 9 o'clock in the morning. Either. And so we get, we're like, well, there'll be a meal. There's always a meal. So we sit down. They're like, okay, for your meal, for your meal today, either a Greek salad or pastrami. And Chris said out loud, at 9 o'clock in the morning? Yo, when I tell you they gave me a sandwich with the wettest bread. Oh. Yo, this bread was wet, my nigga. Like, it took a shower and got on lettuce. Do you understand? <laughs> Finish the shoe. <laughs> Mine was a single piece of dead lettuce. I, what? of course, the gay win for the salad, but... <laughs> It was terrible. It was like a brownie with a salad. And I was like, what is this? It was a death, man. We horrible. bonded over Great British Bake Off. We just did a show obsessed. together in Austin. We're also obsessed with Obsessed. Yeah. GBBO. Who has time to say yes. it? I love GBBO. <laughs> yes. Our th we get mad when we watch it, though. We're like, if you're, if you're not eating cake and you're watching people eating cake oh. and they're being critical about the cake, you're like, well, the other criticisms are very slight. You know what I mean? They're not like, yes. it's not like America where they're like, you know, what was that? Gordon Ramsay? We're like, what the fuck is this? Your family's going to die. You know, like, <laughs> it's like, it's more like, you know, the like, it's just very disappointing. And then it's like some old woman in her early hundreds, like, <laughs> by, just like by some tree. And she's like, I can't believe I'm crying over a pastry. <laughs> you know, like, it's so different. I love, oh, British Bake Off is so good. I'm a, and I love that, like, they, 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 you can't understand anything that they're saying. You have to watch it with subtitles. <laughs> they had that woman, Rosie. Remember Rosie? She was so, she was like a vet or something. Every time they talked to her, like, okay, Rosie, what are you making today? Don't give me shoulders. You're like, sure. She said, well, 20 minutes later, like, oh, she was making a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't watch that show, but I do watch Is It Cake? Wait, and, what's that? Yo, so it's a new show, and Mikey Day uh, hosts it, and it's, and it's a bunch of people who make cakes out of things that don't look like cakes. So it'll look like a purse, but they'll cut into it, and, and it's it'll a be cake? a cake. And my cousin what if watches I cut into myself right now, and I go, this is it, Mateo, and I'm cake? And I'd, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'd I'm be like, like okay well, now I saw something weird. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this shit with my cousin, and he gets mad when, when everything is cake that don't look like cake. He's like, nigga, that ain't cake, bro. That's a purse. <laughs> I'm like, but it's not, dog. It's cake. You're like, that's bullshit. What are these? What do they do with their day? I want to ask a dumb question. Is it sometimes not cake? Yeah. It's sometimes it's just a purse, my nigga. That, that seems way easier to get purses <laughs> than to get somebody to bake a purse. <laughs> So you can have lots of things that aren't cake. Yeah. Oh, man. Is it on Netflix? It sounds like we're on Canal on Street right now. Yeah. <laughs> you what? It sounds like we're on Canal Street right now. Like, is that a purse? Is that a real purse? Is that a purse? How much Yo, is that honestly, purse? This I'm, one's cake. Yeah. <laughs> I would have bought way more purses if I thought some of them were cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you kidding? That'd be awesome. Sorry, Peach. Do you have other questions? What? I know. No, what else yeah, are you guys Chris thinking about? <laughs> That's my question. What else are you guys got going on with each other? Yeah. <laughs> what else are you going to say? What else? Yeah, that's my but, question. I love these questions being prompted. I feel like I'm in a Barbara Walters interview. <laughs> tell, tell me the time you laughed the hardest in your life. The hardest I laughed in my life? Uh, um, I was <laughs> playing uh, Call of Duty with my friend Jacob Ritz. I know Jacob. And, and do you know Jacob? No. Ritz? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was I like, do that. So I don't even know where your worlds would ever collide. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't know how you two would know each other. We were playing Call of Duty. This is over the pandemic, and we were. I was on Twitch, and it Call of Duty is very straight. You know, like Fortnite's like the gay version, and so because <laughs> you shoot and decorate at the same time. So you know, you're mid battle. You're like, we need a bay window, but I. But in Call of Duty, we were like, we could, like we're giving ourselves pep talks. Like Jake was like, we, we can do this, Mateo. We can play with the straights. So we're playing. We're, we start hiding immediately because you know gays love hiding. And like, and and I, this is one of my bits, but it's true. I literally was so scared, and Jacob's like frantically looking at the wall. I'm like, Jacob, what is it? He's like, this wallpaper is so cute. I could leave here. But anyway, so 
we were, we were there, we were there and, and we were like hiding. I have it on video. I could show you. We were hiding in our closets and, and we're whispering to each other. We don't need to whisper to each other because we have headsets on. And I'm like, Jacob, they're coming. Like, and then a grenade comes in and explodes. And we just, it was so pathetic that, and I couldn't stop laughing. It was 20 minutes of me, like, just shaking. You know, it's, it's better than sex. You're laughing so hard. You got, and Jacob's like, why are you laughing? And I was like, because no one in the 20-year history of this game has ever looked around and been like, I love this place. We could totally live here. Like, <laughs> just, you know what I mean? Like, like we were, like, in the sound of music or something. Like, <laughs> we could turn these drapes into children's play clothing. Like, <laughs> madness. I mean, we were, I was crying. I couldn't move. I screamed like a woman when I died. Like, I just <laughs> screamed. I was like, Ned Flanders, like, ah! You know, like, I was screaming. And the, I, it was so funny. It was so, and then also, hundreds of people are watching it. It's on Twitch. God. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it. Of this? I'll, I have the whole thing. It's oh all, I'll, send, I'll send it to you guys. Dropbox me. That is amazing. Oh, it really, I was dying. Yes. Uh, Red? Oh, man. Uh, the funniest I've laughed. <laughs> It had to be. It had you to be. You and I backstage ten minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, ninth grade, my my friend Todd. Um, oh, they did backyard wrestling, and on his trampoline he had in the backyard. Girl. And and he decided because like everybody else was like having like these like big moments, right, where they were doing choke slams and shit. And he couldn't. He didn't have no upper body strength. I'm, I'm dead already. Yeah. Dead so already. he was like, I gotta sh I gotta show up and show out. Is what he said. To me. <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm a child. What are you talking about? And and my man showed up 20 minutes later on the roof. And he was like, I'm a leg drop on the fucking trampoline. And all his friends were like, yeah. And I was like, nigga, this is not good. <laughs> and then he, and he, and he like, he, he, he jumped off. <laughs> my man jumped off like this. And he flew down like this. And he broke his asshole because he, no, he landed right where the metal was, dog. And, and I was like, ah! And everybody was like, no! And I was like, ah! And I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. The ambulance came and they were like, who's this black kid laughing on the ground? <laughs> and yo, and then he went to school the next day. And this is when I laughed the hardest. He went to school the next day and he was like, yeah, I got in a fight. Like, nigga, no, you did. <laughs> Todd, you broke your asshole on a trampoline, bitch. <laughs> Chris Red, Mateo Lane, everybody. I couldn't have asked for better guests. That was incredible. Thank you so much. Guys, we got, we ran out of time. That's why we got to go. Thank you for being here. One more time for Valerie. Chris Red, Mateo Lane. Oh, you got to say keep it crispy. Keep it crispy. Keep it crispy. Hell yeah, keep it crispy, everybody. Good night. <laughs>